Hi. The VC runtime 140.dll error indicates that this file is missing, damaged by malware, or was accidentally deleted. In this video, I have gathered three optimal ways of solving this error. First method find the proper distributor. With each new version, Visual C++ improves DLL files, that's why we should identify a particular version of the redistributable package for each file. In our case, 140 in the name means that it is a part of the 2015 version library, and this is the key data which we require for fixing this error. 1. Check if you have required Visual Studio redistributable package installed on your system. To do this, press Win plus R combination type appwiz.cpi and press enter. This command will open the programs and features window. There, find the entries with names beginning with Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 or Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 2019 and uninstall them. Select an item and click the uninstall button on the top action bar. Be careful and don't remove other version of MVC++ as it may break other software in your system. 3. To download the official distributive of the latest Visual C++ 2015 version, follow the first link after the download Visual C++ 2015 search query in Google, or go to the microsoft.com slash download webpage and search for 52685. This is the code of webpage with the required file. On the webpage, select language as in your system and download click. Next download and install both versions, you need the x86 version for obsolete programs as they can't work with the x64 version, which is preferable for most built with the Visual C++ program. Wait for the end of the download and run the installer. Read the license agreement, accept it and then click install and wait until it is done. At the end of the installation, restart your PC to apply changes in your system. Second method, place the DLL file properly. In most cases, the first option would be enough to fix the problem. If you still get an error, then your app requires this file in this work folder instead of the standard folder with resources of the system disk. This means that you need to manually find this file and place it in the root folder of the app. As you already have the required version of C++ installed in your system, it will be easy to find the required file. Here's the sequence of steps of manual copying and registering the VC runtime 140.dll file. Go to the Windows folder on your system disk C. Search here for the VC runtime 140 file and wait for the final results. There will be a lot of files with your search phrase in the name. Find the VC runtime 140.dll without any additional indexes, select it and copy via context menu to put this file in the software with error work folder. To find this folder, call the task manager by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape, click on more details and go to the process tab. Next, launch your problematic software again, but don't close the error message. Return back to the task manager and click on this app with the right mouse button. Select open file location and now you are right in the root of the work folder of your app. Press Ctrl plus V on the keyboard and click paste on this panel to add the previously copied file and reboot your PC. Third method, get the proper file version. In most cases this should fix your problem, but if it still persists, your app must be compatible only with some specific version of the VC Runtime 140 file. In this situation, you can download it from the internet. 1. For example, enter the Google search download VC Runtime 140 DLL and select the dllfiles.com site. Scroll down the text and here is a list of the VC Runtime 140 file versions. Download the most actual from them and replace it with the previously copied file in the work folder of the app. 3. Then reboot your PC and check if it helps. If not, then check available versions of this file one by one to find the correct one for your app. Uh, it may take time, but guarantees success. This is it. There's not much to add, my dear viewers. These actions should help even with the most unstable and obsolete apps which require vsruntime140.dll to work. Comment if you have any additional tips or questions about this problem. Thanks for watching. See you in our next videos.